reason for the graduation ceremony this time is to celebrate the, the achievements for um, 11 rangers that have, have finally completed their Conservation and Land Management Certificate 3. It's a tremendous achievement for, for all 11 of those, those rangers to, to finally attain that. It's taken some time and it's also a fantastic achievement for Girrigan to be able to see them put up with that, that um, time frame and, and it reach that, that sort of goal, that milestone for themselves. So that'll be something they can take with themselves in any kind of um, work environment they go to. But hopefully the, the program will continue for some time into the future. We all didn't know a thing from back then. We all didn't know anything about um, a ranger job. We all just come from the bananas or um, earning money from kids, you know, the Centrelink, and um, didn't even know anything. But now we've got the knowledge that we can apply for jobs anyway. But I don't think we do want to leave because we all are one here and it's hard to leave because we all knew each other from when we first started the job. Well, I think since uh, 2010, um, you know, when we first started off, um, a lot of our main jobs were just um, helping parks, help with park maintenance and things like that. But over probably the last, you know, three, four years, um, I think our job has evolved as uh, rangers. Um, you know, we've got rangers who are now getting trained in GIS training, fire management, and rangers who are getting trained in compliance as well. Uh, some of our day-to-day -day jobs could be um, park maintenance uh, with the, uh, national parks, spraying of weeds, cleaning of cultural sites, our cemetery sites that um, we've fenced off, you know, working with the artists as well, helping them with getting some stuff, some of their crafts. Uh, the other day we went out, get Lloyd came with them, so not every day is the same. One day you could be, you know, working up on Kuma Range or the back of um, Henrietta, or the next day you could be out, uh, you know, cruising around the islands, uh, with marine parks or doing a dolphin and dugong surveys. Uh, I think the biggest change is uh, that we've all graduated the Cert 3 in um, land conservation management. Um, some of us have got our heavy machinery, like all different certificates. Yeah, we do. Um, we got a good partnership with um, QPWS, and we come out and do um, playing burns with them. And some, sometimes they let us do um, traditional burning. We got a lot of knowledge with um, traditional burning and all that. So yeah, so that plays a big part. Burning, burning plays a big part in bringing the country back to life. We'd come out here with our spray unit, um, put our put our little brakes in if we do have the tractor. Put in a few of our brakes to step past our carbon print to a certain yeah. point where we've eradicated like 100% of weeds and like brought back all the native grasses. It's a big achievement for me, cultural and land management, so yep. two and three. Same, same. That's a big, yeah, step forward for me, so hopefully in the future, better things to come. Four years ago, when we before we started out here, there was sort of a silent bush, you know, you couldn't hear no birds and... And since we've been, over the past four years, we've been spraying and the bush has been opening up. All the wildlife's come back and native birds and wallabies and kangaroos and now the bush is alive. I was um, with the Cycling Yasty Cleanup crew, um, train. We used to go all over helping people clean their cow paddocks, their back, backyards. It mainly was all the old people first. Before anyone else, we helped a lot of locals around here in Cardinal. Just clean their backyards up and that. That was a good experience. One year we had like 15 junior rangers we took them out on country with um, elders to collect lawyer cane, 
Um, they've been to turtle tags with us. They've been beach cleanups with us, water monitoring with us. So basically what we do that we show them and they're both non-Indigenous and Indigenous. We need to see them numbers of the dolphin, of the dugong, of the turtles. We need to see them numbers keep growing. And then it's important for us, well it's, in, it's important for any seaside town, you know, to make sure that they, they have got a healthy, have got a healthy environment out there for their marine animals or land animals. So it's good to see. You know, without, without our elders there, um, you know, we wouldn't have any ranger program. A lot, lot of our programs and a lot, lot of what we do feed off our elders. So, you know, we still look at them for guidance in our ranger program, guidance and our traditional knowledge. So our elders really do play a big part in um, what the ranger program does. As part of our, our business plan and milestones with the Working on Country program and the Queensland Indigenous Land and Sea Rangers program. There's milestones in those business plans for us to work on getting our rangers through that uh, attainable certificate, three and CARM. We wouldn't have been able to do that without the, the funding and support from, from those agencies, those government agencies, and it's um, quite a happy day for me to sit here and say that you know we've, we've finally achieved that quite a big milestone for all of the rangers to, to achieve that qualification. This was a dream of mine to have them, you know, powers to police on our own country. Still working with Grumpa, and thankfully we are we've got Grumpa beside beside us, and we've got marine parks and we've got fisheries. So, you know, as far as I can see, you know, Girigan's sitting in a much better place now. It's 10 years this year for Girigan, and this is the first that we've had our own compliance officers. Uh, that all of us get along really good. Where at first we were all shy and yeah, now we're just all one big happy family. At the end of the day, you know, you know the old people uh, saw the range as, as the vehicle, the primary vehicle for getting back on country uh, stories to be continue to be told about places of significance still being visited, maintained, and, and all that. And that's really critical here if we're talking about, you know, closing the gap and all these sort of really big initiatives from the government. That the ranger program is so crucial to all that stuff, you know. And uh, having our ranger program uh, further established over, over time further establishes that connection back to country. You know. Uh, so we, uh, we, we got visions from the before and from the elders and that they have long gone now but we've got visions again as well and that's where we want to see the ranger program progress to. Yeah?